Hi, I'm going to help you figure out how the reference ruler and grid work. If I were to res a new object just like that, you know how familiar it is, right here, ruler mode, it says reference as one of the options. What that does is if I have an object and I resize it, for example, if I were to go to this object tab instead and change the size so I can make this quite long, and then if I were to go to the tools menu and right here where it says use selection for grid, that's exactly what you want to do with the object selected as it is glowing in yellow right now. I'll click that and since reference mode is selected, now if I'm going to move this object, notice that the scale of the grid, it's corresponding with the dimensions of the object. I'll show you another example. Let me change the size of this. I'll make it somewhat bigger on these, and then I'll just drag it up some. And again, with it selected, Tools menu, and use selection for grid. And you'll notice now when I drag it, the grid has changed. The extents are a bit hard to see. Let me see here. But you'll notice that it's mapped to, it's a pretty large object. So it'll show one X or one times when I've moved it a full one length of itself, just like that. This is useful if you want to build in multiples of an object. Like for example, you're building a house and you've made a pillar and you want to align it along itself. And again, we can make it smaller and it will retain the reference grid of the older object size dimensions until such time you change it again. So go ahead and give that a try. The reference ruler and grid. <laughs>